decade-old Cambridge mainstay known for its modern American fare is getting a seafood-centric sibling. Here, what we try to do is fun, playful, shareable food where you can either come and sit by yourself, come with a group of people, and just enjoy tasty bites from the sea. Puritan, we've got people down Will there. Gilson is the chef at the helm of Puritan Oyster Bar, a new addition to his first restaurant next door, Puritan and Company. I grew up working on my parents' farm, which was a potted herb farm. So they grew, you know, rosemary, basil, thyme, oregano, about 400 different varieties. That helped me get kind of an intro into food. Gilson uses that farming foundation and subsequent years of restaurant experience to innovate and create fun and flavorful new menu items, like the caviar cone. You know, I've never had caviar before. Oh, really? I don't think I have. Oh, I think I'm about to blow your mind. Let's cheers. This is all like right. a little ice cream cone. Exactly, all right. But it's savory. These have the Japanese style egg salad topped off with bofin caviar, some creme fraiche inside of a sesame cone. That is delicious. There's also a savory deconstructed crab rangoon, decadent buttered lobster toast, melt in your mouth scallop crudo, and of course, with six varieties to choose from, oysters. Nothing better than a fresh oyster. The idea for this raw bar was born out of necessity when the Puritan team realized the space wouldn't accommodate another kitchen for the bakery they wanted to build. For us to be able to find a way to maximize the square footage that we have here, get people excited, offer them something different that nobody else is around here, we really feel like it's a great way to take the creative minds that work at Puritan and launch an entirely new concept. The aquatic atmosphere here is prevalent from the plate to the pour, from crisp white wines to classic martini service, and the glug jug, a tiki style drink for two, served out of a gurgling cod. Very classic New England piece of paraphernalia, if you will. Woo! Yeah. It's very good, but it has a kick. <laughs> classic New England with a novel twist. What we've learned how to do is find ways to keep whatever we create fresh. A newfound center for creativity and collaboration. Everything happens here. I think the better question is what don't we have here? Not much here at the Foundry. This 50,000 square foot space in Kendall Square, Cambridge offers workspace and programs focused on science, technology, engineering, math, and the arts. Jenna Schlag is the Director of Finance and Operations. There's not a lot of affordable space to make art here. It was really important to the community and to the city to keep that sort of mission alive. Both workspace rentals and memberships are on a sliding scale. So if you're an individual, it goes by income. If you're an organization, it's by your operating revenue. So no matter where you fall on that scale, there's something that's affordable here for you. This building dates back to 1890 and has been used for different purposes throughout the years. Eventually it came into the city of Cambridge's possession and with a lot of support and involvement from the community came together to create this as an arts and community space. This is Condor. Georgia Lyman is the executive producer of Liars and Believers. The theater ensemble was the first to open a production at the Foundry. The fact that Liars and Believers is able to come in and produce in this building that has such an amazing, vibrant STEM community of like collective energy and creativity, it's just really fantastic. Jean Apollon teaches Afro fitness classes here three days a week. Is it hard to find dance space in this area? Big time. Cambridge is a place where you have a lot of space when it comes to biomed and all these ph pharmaceutical places and schools, but when it comes to arts, it's very difficult to find space. But thank God we have the foundry. Painter Lloyd Williams says this workspace has been a godsend and he's been motivated by fellow artists sharing it. I've done more work in the last two or three months than I have done in the entirety of last year. The Foundry, a mix of community and opportunity. Come and try out a craft and just find a creative home here. Do a one month membership, see if you like it.
Well, that's awesome. And the foundry is open to everyone. Yes. You don't have to be a Cambridge resident to take advantage of that. And they still do have workspace available. It's a great spot. And back to the Puritan Oyster Bar, they are not accepting reservations at this time. So feel free to stroll on in if you want to check it out. And if you're interested in Chef Will Gilson's food, he has three other local restaurants in the area, the Lexington, Cafe Beatrice, and Geppetto. All right, coming up, a supper club in the seaport.